Hi everyone. Oh my gosh, I'm back and close up. So today <laughs> my hair is pulled back. It's not going to look like this, but I did pull it back because I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I've been gone for so long. Where have I been? Um, it's raining. I'm using natural lighting. It's gloomy and raining here in California, but you know, I decided this is what, once the makeup's applied, this is what I'm gonna look like. So, you know, it's still not too bad as far as lighting goes, right? I don't have the big bright lights. So anyways, all right, so it's a get ready with me and let's get started. So I have been, um, I already put on like my base and oh my gosh, I have been loving this Clinique Moisture Surge. So it's a CC cream, hydrating color corrector, broad spectrum SPF, all that stuff. I don't use it as a CC cream at all. I just use it underneath my eyes as a color corrector. And I love it. It hydrates underneath there and everything like that. But I'm not going to talk too much about the makeup. Just forewarning. I'm not going to say everything I'm putting on my face. I'm going to try not to. I really want to, but I'll like save that for the videos. It's This video is just basically where the heck hell have I been <sighs> so and what I've been like noticing because even though I haven't been making content I have been noticing um you know obviously I'm still watching the makeup community YouTube community and all that stuff let me grab something to wipe my hands on I can already tell the editing on this is gonna be dang it but um I have just been noticing a lot of stuff uh, that's been going on and I have some opinions so first and foremost where I've been <laughs> I've been saying that like 20 million times where have I been school school work um it's just has kept me so immensely busy that I haven't had time for anything else and it's been like truly insane. I'm just at the end of over the halfway point of the semester and it's just, it's been hard. Yeah, that's the basically how I can put it is it's been really hard. Um, like every semester though, you know, I have yet to say when there's a semester of school, except for like my last semester of the master's program after I took my final test um that I can be like oh yeah this semester was super easy you know like this semester was not hard I have yet to say that about school in general because you're always constantly stressed what adds to this stressor though what adds an extra layer onto this stressor is um the fact that I have been working you know seeing my clients working at the same time um and doing all of that and then you know the stuff that you did da my daily stuff you know the stuff with my son that doesn't go away uh keeping the household up to snuff you know everybody in the household working together that doesn't go away so none of those things go away and it's just left me like with little time to do anything else and <laughs> i'm gonna go like that <laughs> still makes me laugh little time to do anything else and yeah, so that's kind of where I've been. And sometimes you just like need a break. I needed to find, and I still do need to find balance. You know, I haven't been able to find the perfect balance when it's come to like working out and stuff like that. But I've been a lot better this semester than I've been the past year and a half. I am refusing to let any excuses be the reason why I'm not looking after my health. So that's what I've been really trying to focus on. I truly have never found um, it's so hard in my life to take care of my health, ever. And that's saying a lot because anybody that knows me in my personal life knows that I am a health fiend. Like I go on health kicks and I always, I'm not gonna talk while I go ready on my neck. And <laughs> it always makes it sound like I'm crying. So 
I am one of those like health people and I really don't, um, you know, I'm always able to snap back, I guess. And this time I just haven't been able to do it, you know? Sorry, I'm looking at my monitor right here and I feel like I'm really high. I'm going to bring it down for a second. So I've always been able to snap back. So it's never been like, oh my God, you know, I gained a little bit of weight and it's totally fine. This time though, I don't know if it's because my age, you know, I am 33 or what is it, what it is, but I've had the hardest time snapping back. I guess that's the way to put it. And it really bummed me out. I mean, it really bummed me out. I was distraught. I was distressed because when your health is not up to par, at least for me, when my health is not up to par, um, it affects the rest of my outlook. Um, you know, I just don't have as much energy. I don't like the way that my clothes fits. It affects my self-esteem. And I would be lying if I was going to be sitting here being like, oh no, it's totally okay. No, it affects everything else. I'm more lethargic. So yeah, to make it any longer, <laughs> that is what I have been putting my focus on and really holding myself accountable and, um, but now let's go on into what I have been noticing. So there's a few things I want to talk about with the whole makeup beauty community. First, me as a YouTuber, trying to find like my dish. I was like, I'm super new to YouTube. I'm like as baby as baby can get, like super like a little tiny baby. And so I had these like ideals of what it is I wanted to put on my channel, the content that I wanted to make. And the more I started buying things and the more I started like trying to keep up because I really didn't know how it worked. The more I started being like, okay, in most of my life, I am not an extreme consumer. Consumerism is there, but I am really conscious about like, the environment I'm really conscious about things like that um just like what it is that I'm putting out into the environment the waste and stuff like that so I'm I'm conscious I'm not the most extreme I'm not extreme by any means I'm just conscious of all of that so I started noticing and not just that I'm all fisc I'm fiscally conscious too I mean I cannot at this stage in my life I mean I am for those of you that don't know I am in a doctorate program and at this stage of my life, I cannot be a hardcore, um, like, you know, consumer. <laughs> not that I, I don't even think, even if I could, I'm not sure if I want to, like, really, like, buy every new thing that's out there. I feel like this market is so oversaturated, and I'm new to the whole beauty community, not just on YouTube. I'm talking about beauty in general. I am so new to the whole community. I joined beauty and makeup super late in the game. We're talking about like super late. I'm 33. A year and a half. A year ago. A year and a half I started dipping my toe in. So I was like, holy crap. Um, first, how does anybody keep up? How does anybody keep up? Then I started seeing like the actual reviewer channels and I was like, okay, I could never be that, you know? Like, I can't buy every new thing that comes out. I can't purchase, I can't go out and make a new video every day um, of all these new things that I brought. All I can do, I can't do hauls 24 seven. I can't review makeup. I'm not, I don't know enough about makeup to do like in-depth reviews and things like that and formulas and calculations and all that stuff. I come here to de-stress from all of that. I come here because I want to have fun with makeup and I want to and I'm so curious about it and I'm so like into it whether it's a natural look or a full face coverage I'm just curious about that stuff and I'm into that stuff right now at this time in my life so I was kind of like a little bit bummed because I'm like well then what do I do what's the point what what is it that I'm doing what do I fit in before I saw anything on YouTube, I started thinking when it came to consumerism, 
what do people do? I say, ask myself, what do people do with all their makeup? You know, like they have, I, I was watching the YouTubers that I watch and I was like, they have these like constant, like huge amounts of makeup. And even if you're not a big YouTuber, what about the small channels? What do they do with all their makeup? I was so curious about it. I wanted to know. I was like, geez, like what I, my collection already grew to double its amount in three months. Holy crap. That's saying a lot. Um, what do you do? What do you do with the palette that you bought? Like, let's take this video. Art. I bought this video. Art. I got it. I got it for Christmas. I love it. I love his yard. And I was like, what if I get a new palette next week? What do I do with this? Do I just chuck it? I mean, I already have several palettes. What do I do? Um, so how do people even keep up? How do they uh, continue to, you know, keep digging into their stash? What happens to makeup? It gets super old, things like that. So as I was asking myself these questions, I also was curious about, okay, well, what about for the people that aren't going to be doing like, you know, I'm not going to do reviews. <laughs> Again, that's not my dish. So I started watching all these decluttering videos and I was like, whoa, which I absolutely love to watch. And I was like, well, first I don't have enough stuff. I have a lot of stuff I can declutter, not necessarily makeup, but I have stuff I can declutter. And so when I was watching all these decluttering videos, I was, it got me curious into thinking even more like, whoa, what's happening? So then I went, into this whole freaking, I feel like our phones are listening to us because when I was asking those questions, boom, all these videos started popping up about declutter videos, which I love, and also about um, panning, project panning videos, and also, um, all right, what's the other one? So there's project plan, there's declutter, declutters, this is things that what I'm not gonna buy, my wish list, things like that. And I was like, okay I see what people are doing um you know there's more people out there like me than I thought just who love makeup who are curious about it cannot go and buy every single palette out there under the sun nor do they want to even if they that's another thing even if you could do you want to you know so then I was like hmm so I started going down that rabbit hole and I started watching more and more of that. And it made me even more curious, if that's even possible, as to, okay, I think this is more along the lines of my dish, you know? I want to do this because I love it. I want to continue doing it, but I don't have thousands of dollars to spend on makeup every month, every week, every year even. So... I think I'm going to do more and get my editing skills up to snuff and do more of like wish lists, you know, what I'm not going to buy, what I want to buy, what I think about this, what I think about that, my opinions on certain makeups. And then when I do buy something, you know, I'm buying it because I truly love it. I know I'm buying it because I truly love it and I truly am curious about it and I want to try it and things like that. I don't want to put myself in debt because of makeup. I have money saved to the side. I'm not in debt because of makeup, FYI. I have money saved to the side um, for any of my makeup needs. So it's like, I want to be realistic though. I don't want to be unrealistic about what it is that I can do with the chan my channel and what it is that I want to put out there. So anyways, so... So I thought that was really interesting. <laughs> and I've been knowing, noticing, so that's what I'm gonna talk about. That's what I'm talking about right now is like what I've been noticing in the beauty community. Um, this oversaturation with makeup launches and makeup brands. I don't know enough about like the seasons of beauty when things are usually launched, what's like the usual, um, what it usually looks like. I am not sure. You know, this concealer, I'm trying out this new concealer, and I love it under my eyes, but when I put it on the top of my eyes, that's why I put my um my primer first, because I tried it yesterday, and when I put it on the top of my eyes, it just creases. And I never have problems with creasing in my eye. So that's why I put today the eyeshadow primer, 
because I wanted to not have that creasing. I have a presentation today, pretty big one. So I wanna look my best. If that was the case, I shouldn't have been trying the new concealer. <laughs> Jeez. Um, so anyways. So there's this oversaturation going on. And then I started noticing like, people really get anxiety when they can't buy things. You know, when they can't keep up. And I was like, I, I don't want that to be me. I have enough anxiety in my life. I deal with anxiety, you know, helping people, helping treat anxiety. I, I don't want that happening to me. Um, so I, I stick by this. And this is where, like, my autism comes into play. And I will always mention that because, hey, I'm a woman with autism. And there are things that might affect me differently or the way my mind works a little bit differently. So this is where that comes into play, is when I think of things, when I see things, um, I've got to be, I don't want to become addicted to things. And I use that term like this because I know it's not like a true addiction where it's like, get, uh, like a true addiction, you know, like alcoholism and things like that. I just don't want to become overly, I can tend to be a little bit like, I need that, I need that, I need that now and become a bit aggressive about it, like with me, with myself. And then, um, so I don't let myself do that with anything that I love. Um, Trader Joe's is one of those things, an example. I used to go there three times, then I saw myself going there five times a week. And because it brought me such calm and comfort, and it does bring me calm and comfortness. But then I was like, okay, Amanda, you, you can't be too extreme with anything because then you have to take it away. I have to take it away from myself. Because if not, when it's not there, I become dysregulated, you know? And I don't want that to happen. So I was like, I don't want that to happen with makeup either. Because again, who can keep up? Not me. <laughs> so with that said, I was like, okay. What exactly, um, what is happening right now in the makeup community? And I was observing it and I was like, whoa, there is so much, so much stuff that is being dropped right now. So much stuff that is being um, this oversaturation of the market. So much hate going on, and I don't think that's in the that's that. I don't think that's the whole beauty community, even the YouTube beauty community. I don't think so. I don't think there's all this hate, and it's a bad place or whatever. I just think that the people that do hate are very loud and vocal. So they're the minority, but they're very vocal with their words. And, and then on top of that, I feel like when you have some legit criticisms, it's looked at as hating. And I'm like, what is that about? You know, there are a lot of people, a lot of women and men like me who our everyday jobs, you know, we do some stuff in our everyday jobs. You know what I mean? Like, we're not just, you know what, let me set the rest of my face. So I was like, what exactly is happening here? Like, dang, man. First, see, that's what I didn't want to happen. Mm. There we go. So I was like, first, why, why so much hate over really valid concerns or questions and then why so much hate over things that you just want to hate them just because you want to hate them you don't have to like everything heck I don't like everything and um but I think respect goes a long way so let's take a few examples and I think everyone knows where I'm going with this because it's been talked about left and right dragged through the mud and I'm like, okay, Halo Beauty. Let's talk about Halo Beauty. So there's two things that I want to talk about. Halo Beauty and then the KKW new concealers that are dropping, which I'm excited about that one. The first I'm not so excited about. The second I'm super excited about. So with that said, and saying what I want to talk about, my thing is with the whole thing that happened with Halo Beauty, 
I think it was handled poorly. I'm not a fan. No, I'm a fan of, I was a fan of Tati's. I was. I was a subscriber. I'm, look at my followers. Again, I don't have that many. Um, but I was, and I, I'm more of a, a consumer of YouTube at this moment. And I was a fan. And I was like, oh my God, what is she dropping? You know, I wasn't a years long fan. I was a newbie fan, I guess you could say. You know, I just, I binge on a lot of stuff. And videos was one of them. YouTube videos is one of them. So I kind of felt like I got the gist of Tati. Didn't feel like she was insincere. I wasn't all down with that, you know, her who certain things she supported. And then there was a couple of things before this whole Halo Beauty issue that were rubbing me the right way. The wrong way, I mean. And I was like, um, okay. Well, this wasn't what I was expecting. And I had some questions. I do, on occasion, take vitamins. I do have, I have no issues with the fact that she dropped vitamins. That, that's not my concern at all. I didn't even know the uproar that was happening, happening yet. But then when I saw it, you know, come upon, I was like, holy crap. Then when she dropped her second video, I was like, oh, okay, I want to listen to this video, you know, like see more of like, what is Halo Beauty about? I felt like I was being talked to in such a condescending way. Like if I was a child first, I was like, ooh, she's standing up for herself. But then she started talking about people who use Google as a tool to search for ingredients and people who do their own research and you should go talk to a doctor and things like that. And I was like, no, 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 no. I know a lot about research. It's something that I'm really doing at the moment and will have to do for the next two or three years of my life. It's important that I know specifics about research and how it's done and how people can look stuff up. So I'm not gonna chastise people or talk down to people who take it upon themselves to find information. Yes, some of the information may be misinformation, but at least be appreciative that they're looking for information because they're truly interested in your product. I am definitely not right now going to talk about all the research and everything that was found and all that stuff. You can check out, I will try to link below, Jen Loves Reviews, and there's a couple of other YouTubers that I wish I knew the names of right now. Um, I'll link their videos below so that you can check out their videos on it. They went in depth. They went in depth on it, on all the, you know, stuff in it and things like that. I wasn't as concerned about that. I am I am a well aware that there are a lot of people who are very concerned about that and for good reason, for very good reason. And one of those people was not me. I was more like, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> I really was. I was like, please don't talk to me like that. Like don't, and you shouldn't be talking to anybody like that. Like if we are these um, sorry, I'm like right here in your face. Like if we are these children who, what were we thinking taking it upon ourselves to do any type of research? I'm like, I am a grown woman who knows when I go on Google, how to look up research. Google Scholar, for anybody that wants to know, look at Google Scholar. And yes, all the articles are not free there. And if you're a college student, then you take that information and you go to your school library and then you try to input that information and so on, so on. You should take it, be able to take it from there. But I'm like, you know, not everybody has access to things like that. So first, don't chastise people. That's a no. I am subscribed. I don't like that. And I am finding it uh, easier to, you know, we can only be as personable on YouTube, you know, as we want to be, give off what we want to give off and that was just rubbed me the wrong way and then like I said there's a couple of other things beforehand I was just like yeah no it's it's not for me um I am not your target audience or I was but I am no longer want to be an audience member if that makes any sense then the second thing was was this like harshness from everybody on every side dissecting all kinds of information and I'm I'm a person that I like to dissect information so I was glad that people made an unbiased dissection of information because if, if you look at just the information that they dissected it is unbiased when they put in you know a couple of their opinions and the um their wording then you know you got that opinion and stuff like that but just look at the information for what it is 
It's very good. And there is good information out there. And so then there was that. And then there was the oversaturation of so many launches. I was like, holy crap, you guys. Like, how do you want anyone to keep up with this? I was feeling bombarded on a daily, on a constant daily, sometimes even hourly basis with like, this is going to drop. This is going to drop. You must get this. You must get that. And I was like, Amanda, breathe. This is intense. This is super intense. And I don't know if I like this. There were a couple of things that I bookmarked because I was like, I really do like these products and I really do want to try them. Um, but for the most part, I was just like, holy crap. What is going on here? Like, why, why, first, why is this like this? What, what changed this last year? And I feel like the consumption of the beauty industry and the beauty world, people are paying attention and people are saying, whoa, we could make money here. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a little break. I'm gonna put eyeliner on and then I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So now let's get into, since I already got that out of the way, Again, I'm not going to do a whole in detail, in depth thing about Halo Beauty just because I feel like there's some good stuff out there already and it's like beating a dead horse. I finally got the butter bronzer and it's, I got mine in medium, no, Muru Muru butter bronzer. So I think it was like the medium one and um, it's taken me a while to like it just because I felt like it was a little bit more cooler than what I wanted but um now I like it <laughs> and it smells oh it smells so good so now after that let's get into the next thing which I'm actually excited for is the Con KKW concealer launch concealer launch I'm gonna repeat it again concealer launch it's concealers right yeah right concealers <laughs> so the reason why i repeated it so many times is because i think people truly got a little bit heated about the shade range i actually once it launched i am a kim kardashian fan i will not and have not bought anything from kylie but i do support kim and i do buy things from hers i was interested i saw so much hate and i know already that a lot of the hate comes just because it's Kim Kardashian, just because of her name, just because of all of that stuff. And I was like, Amanda, do not engage. Do not engage. But I read the other article, the Allure article. I read the what the reasoning behind it, the four different categories of shades, and then four different undertones in each category. So there are undertones. Pictures can be deceiving. Pictures... I think, in my opinion, okay, let's get this out of the way. I'm just going to say it. And I said it like more than halfway through towards the end of the thing. When I keep saying in my opinion, I'm going to stop that. There's full disclosure. Ha everything is my opinion. Unless I come and say, okay, this is fact. Blah, 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 blah. Obviously, everything's my opinion. Whose else's opinion is it going to be? It's my opinion. Unless it's someone else's opinion and I say, oh, it's this person's opinion. Okay, it's my opinion. All right, so with that out of the way, <laughs> so I can freely talk because I see that a lot. Oh my God, I had a little bit of fallout right here. Right here, do you see it? A little bit. And I really never know how to deal with fallout. So I'm going to try my best to deal with this. It was from the black that I used. I used the powder black liner, which looks amazing. But I, okay, that's, um, that's what's going to happen because there's nothing else I can do about it. I think I have to wait till it dries. Oh, I heard somewhere if you put like lotion, if you put like a lotion on it, I'll be right back. Okay, so like I was saying, um, I was able to put the bronzer, I had a little bit of fallout, but I was able to get rid of that, thank goodness. Now time for highlighter. I love this one. So like I was saying, you know, the whole thing with Tati, not going to get into like every detail of the ingredients or about research or like going through like this whole video about it just because it's been done a million times being dead horse. But that's just my feelings on it. That really is. That's just, I was just rubbed the wrong way about the whole situation, the whole situation. And um, again, I think it was the minority 
but the very vocal minority that states like this, 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 this. And I'm like, geez, geez. So now going back, going back to KK Beauty. Because I think that's where I left off before I had the whole makeup fiasco. I am really excited. I'm super excited. It saddens me to see like the hate and the criticism be so harsh and intense. But that's to come with, again, vocal minority with the beauty community these days. And um, that part is like, whoo. I'm surprised. Anybody would want to drop anything with how much like the hate and stuff. Oh, it's raining. When I move for one second, I just get so discombobulated. I left my brush over here, brush over here. Jeez. I need my blush. <sighs> almost done, almost done. <sighs> okay, so now that I'm done with my makeup, let's wrap this video up and fix my hair because no, I was not going to be wearing my hair like that. All right, then final result. So to wrap it up, we're being oversaturated. It's insane. I'm trying to figure out where I fit in. I don't think I'm not a makeup reviewer. I can't afford it, nor do I want to consume that much makeup. I'm just going to find my little niche somewhere in here. I'm really interested in the Project Pan. I love the decluttering. I love simple minimalism, but I'm not an extreme minimalist. I don't know if I'm going to go extreme in any direction. I already touched on the Halo Beauty. I'm excited about the KKW Concealer launch. The hate that's come with that, like the vitriol hate that I'm like, whoa, wow. I looked at that shade range. I'm a vocal supporter of people who only come out with three or four or even 10, or we all know how Tarte Shape Tape Foundation went. Again, foundation, concealer, different things. We all know how that went. And I'm like, everyone just gets to stop, breathe, and reboot. Let's do that with the whole makeup community. Stop, breathe, and reboot. Reboot. I'm new to it. It's not a turn off for me because, again, I am well aware that it's the vocal minority that's doing all of this hate. But that influences the majority, the non-vocal majority. So it's a struggle. I think it's a struggle. Um, but yeah, with all that said... Um, I'm excited for the next few videos that I am going to be putting out. Super excited about them because they are on, you know, I have a couple of hauls and a couple of things that I want to talk about, about how I get my makeup and how I save money and things like that. So I think I'm going to go more in that direction just because, and more, like I said, getting better with my <laughs> editing skills so that I can do my wish lists, my, um, you know, um, makeup I'm not going to buy. And I will definitely tag the people who I got my inspiration from because I didn't just come up with these ideas. I thought about it because, again, I wasn't, like, for years and years on YouTube. Um, but I didn't come up with these ideas at all. These are things that I, when I, you know, I watched from the YouTubers that I watched, the beauty YouTubers that I watched, and I was like, you know what? There you go. You've explained it so well as to what it is that I love. And I hope other people will like to get, you know, the same reaction when they watch me being like, oh my God, there you go. So you don't feel the need to like, yes, I'm definitely going to buy this. Definitely going to not buy that and things like that. You know what I mean? I think I've ever explained myself enough. So, okay. Well, I hope you like this. Get ready with me. I hope you subscribe and click the little bell below so you know when I'm posting. Hopefully, that will happen. <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.